Welcome back everyone. So I just got back home after my last exam of uni for the year. So I had this in the mail sent out to me. This is all secondhand to me. Uh, the guy that I bought it off never installed it on his car. So I was lucky enough to get a pretty good deal. So he had a full bushing kit, uh, all brand new, never used. Some new hardware as well. I probably won't need these, but I might as well install them. Um, but yeah, so uh, in this video, I'll be installing these new rear lower control arms. These are solid alloy ones. I think they're from a GD WRX. Uh, I think it might be the SDI model. Okay, so I'm just about to clean this up now. All I'm gonna use is this sponge and a bit of 240 grit sandpaper and just a bit of wheel cleaner. Okay, so I just finished up cleaning the control arms. So before I take the whole car apart, I'm going to install all the bushings, make sure it's all good. Okay, so after a bit of trial and error, uh, we're getting the bushings in. I worked out a pretty good way to do it. I don't recommend it, but it worked for me. Uh, so the way I did it was I used my toe ball and I greased it up so it was easy to, to get out. And I used this to help push in the bearing using my press. Bit of grease on the threads of this. That goes straight into the bushing. Then we'll put a bit of grease on the actual bushing. So we're just pressing down on the bushing, making sure it goes as center as possible. And then you just kind of just got to go with it. It does get a bit wiring where this edge is coming up, but it, these bushings are super strong. So I just finished up with this bushing here, the metal tube in now as well. So once I finish up with this one, I'll do the next one and then we'll be back ready to put them in the car. Okay, so we just finished up with that bushing here. Uh, so I got this bushing left and the whole other arm. So I've got three bushings left. Once I do those, I'll be right back. That's it, it's all done. So now we just gotta go over the car and we'll start doing that. Start taking the old ones out of the car and then we can put these ones in. The next thing we need to do is disconnect this sway bar link. So I just use a pair of mini vice grips to hold the nut from spinning. We'll just put the nut here just so we don't lose it. So I'm just going to disconnect the other side, it's the exact same thing. Okay, so to give myself a little bit more room, I'm just going to disconnect the bracket that holds this line in so I can get to this nut here. Okay, so we'll continue taking this big long bolt out. There we go, so that's that big long bolt out. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is take off one of the arms. So I'm just going to start off with the rear arm. I've sprayed it with a bit more WD-40 just to help when taking it off. And that's that rear arm out. Lucky I marked all these. Okay, so we're just on the passenger side now, so we'll take off this nut. There we go, it's always something. So now the exhaust is getting stuck in this nut. So I might have to hopefully not take off the whole exhaust. Hopefully just take off this hanger. And maybe this hanger, hopefully that should disconnect it. I'll go try that now. Okay, so I just disconnected this one as well. And that should give me enough room. 
I believe, just to get that nut out. This is the nut here, and it looks like there's just enough room, and that's it, taken out. Yeah, so I finally just got these loosened up, so I'm going to take the rest of these out. To get this bolt out, I might have to take the shaft out, or I might just uh, jack up the hub here, just so the shaft's a bit higher. Because I noticed on the other side when I was trying to get it out, this bolt struggles to get past this. So I'm going to try just jacking up the hub, and hopefully that'll be enough to do that. So once I've done all this, I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, the shaft, while well, I've been wiggling it around, the shaft is just falling out, and that's giving me enough room to just get the bolt out. So I'll put the shaft back in once I put the whole car back together. So this is the driver's side, and as you can see, it's the exact same issue I'm having this side. So I'll try lifting up the hub again, see if that works. Otherwise, I'm just gonna pop that CV out of the diff. There we go, so this is how I was giving myself some extra room. I've just lifted up a little bit more and there you go, it just fell out, just touching it. So that's all the control arms out. Uh, now I'm just going to compare them to the old ones. So everything's out now. These are the four arms I'll be replacing with my new ones. These are the bolts that I had as well. So these are the old ones, these are the new ones. You don't have to replace these bolts, but I got given these new ones so I might as well and these are looking a bit rough. But yeah, just before I throw them in, I'm definitely gonna weigh them up to see what the difference in weight is. So we'll just quickly do that now. So I've got a scales here. We'll get the bucket. Zero the bucket. Okay, so we'll weigh up the heavy ones, or the steel ones probably will be heavier. So that's all four arms on and we are at, so I'll quickly write this down, three, nine, three, three for the steel. Now the alloy, we'll find out what the weight for those are. Okay, so the alloy ones are now on and yeah, you can definitely see it's a weight difference there. So the new ones weigh two, eight, nine one the difference in weight is 1042 grams so now i'll just go over to the car i'll install these and once they're installed i'll show you what I, what they look like okay, so you can see where i put the grease it's a little bit on the sides just to slide it in a bit easier so we'll put that in now It's got this special type of washer that you got to make sure that you know where to put it. I've marked mine. So you put that in. And this a normal thick washer. And then we'll put the nut on. Now we're ready to put the big hub bolt through. Okay, so I just got this long hub bolt through. Everything's all in. It's all once this side is done, I'll go over to the other side and tighten up all the bolts. Okay, so it's been about a week now since I installed the control arms on the Forester. Really liking how they look. The rear end of the car feels a bit firmer as well, so that's also nice. So I figured I'd just end the video of just showing you how they look on the car. So that's the driver's side there. And then this is the passenger side so pretty happy saved the kilo on the back and got brand new bushings for the Forester hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time